Good evening. Welcome to ASMR Theater. My name is Lisa. How can I help you? Sure. I can help you with that, but we have lots of um, shows this week. And um, may I tell you all about it? So that you can make a choice, of course. Sure. First, we have um, The Lion King, um, Wicked, um, we have um, The Phantom of the Opera, um, Mamma Mia, and we have um, Matilda, Chicago, um, we have The uh, Spider Man, and um, Rock of Ages. Yes, that's that's all we have for now, for for this week. Yeah. Well, um, do you have any idea of each of the shows that I've mentioned to you just now? No. Okay, it's no problem at all. And this is why I'm here. So I I will explain to you each one, each one of this. Okay. So. The, um, the first show is The Lion King It is a musical event mm. um, It's a... just a second It's a very extraordinary vision and um, more than 50 million people have felt I've watched this um, this wonderful musical which won Tony Awards for the best musical and, and it tells the you know the Disney's classic journey of a young royal um, hair um, Simba so um, they have a giraffe giraffes, birds swooping and gazelles just same as the um, same as the Disney show it's just musical so it's like um, very spectacular primal African rhythms unforgettable tunes Mm, including the Elton John and Tim Rice's Oscar winning Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Mm, yes, and a amazing display of exotic African wildlife mm, and um, that's brought to life on stage mm -hmm. and um, there, it's just wonderful because it's um, won a half dozen Tony Awards in 1998 when it was released, and, and very intense physical stage work and countless of visual surprises hold will hold you, your attention from the start to finish. Um, is that? good for kids, I'm not sure, but um, Simba's you know, creepy journey to Elephant Graveyard and the sad, very sad scene of his death of his father, and it may be unsettling to young viewers, just like the original film, but if your child can handle the movie, there's no reason they should not see it life, yeah. And it's very family friendly. Sure. No problem at all. I can tell you each one of these shows. Mm -hmm. And um, next one on our list is The Wicked. Have you heard any uh, news on the Wicked, like what kind of show it is? Um, no, okay, 
It's alright. It is in the untold musical story of the, Wiz the Wizard of the Oz, Wicked Witch of the West, and Glinda the Good. Um, before Dorothy dropped in, so um, based on it, the imaginative Gregory Maguire novel, Wicked will take the fantasy journey through the unseen sights of Oz. He will share a tale of unexpected friendship and love. Yeah, so the Wicked is very visually stunning and it has a wonderful musical score from uh, Stefan Schwartz. It's the Tony Award winning sets and costumes and some of the most wonderful moments of the Great White Way. Honestly, the costume and set is spectacular. Is um is it good for kids? Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, it's um, the definition of the family-friendly musicals. Um, the just like the classical nineteen thirty-nine movie, younger children may find it too long or be frightened by the show's flying monkeys um, illusions to off-stage violence and death of the character and most children over eight are will be delighted by the world of wicked I'm sure yeah sure um so far we have reviewed two shows the next is um, the Phantom of the Opera and um, may I just say it's my favorite of all the shows. So it's really spectacular. It's uh, the winner of seven 1988 Tony Awards, which is including Best Musical, Andrew Lloyd Webber's masterwork. It's really a timeless story of seduction and despair mm. Mm. Yeah. the set is um, at uh, Paris Opera House a beautiful soprano becomes the obsession of a, a mysterious yeah, disfigured musical genius which is the Phantom of the Opera well, the Phantom of the Opera is like both romantic and scary. It's a thrilling night of a theater with grand emotions. And um, the Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical scores with the most wonderful signature song called The Music of the Night. It really sets the mood. Um, it, it's really gorgeous and, and the costumes are wonderful simple yet grand sets even the fa famous chandelier which probably falls slower than you'd expect it really is a wonderful thrill but um, the grand and opera and lush romance might not be the kids cup of tea you know and the phantom is a frightening guy and there are um, scary moments throughout and I guess um, if uh, yeah, if your kids are frightened about such things you, maybe your kids shouldn't watch it but it is really a wonderful show for you and your couple Yes, definitely a big star on here. Well, let me see what's next on the list, shall we? Mm -hmm. Okay, 
to another wonderful musical show and the list is um yeah Mamma Mia also one of my favorite it's um Abba's greatest hits um into a sunny tale set on a Greek island on the eve of um, her wedding, a bride quests to discover her father's identity. She brings three men from her mother's past back to the place they last visited 20 years ago. So, well, it's really for all ABBA fans, including me. My water. I'm sorry, I'm a little dry. <laughs> okay, so if you're really the fan of ABBA, you really should go ahead and watch it, enjoy it. And um, the songs are all the same lyrics from the famous songbook of ABBA. Yes, and this is one Broadway show where singing along and dancing in the aisles is encouraged. <laughs> yes, it's wonderful. This show has a full on high energy to spare and with um, periodic breaks for ballads and drama. It's just fun, fun, fun. So, Yes, it is good for kids, but because the music is so cool and energetic with the dancing and the plot can bring up some questions for the little ones, you know, about the um, three boyfriends just may not be appropriate, but you know, nothing's very explicit and the tone is very cheery throughout making it pretty safe for family destination I guess like everybody loves Ava mm -hmm. and this one is another star I know it's alright so now we have um, reviewed four shows let me see what we have on the table next okay so the next show is the best if you are um, watching it with your kids because it's Matilda um, it's a winner of a record-breaking 7 Olivier Award um, including the best musical it's a more than a show it's a phenomenon based on a beloved novel by Roald Dahl um, Matilda is a story of an extraordinary girl who dares to take a stand and ch change her destiny. Mm. So, it, it features first ever Broadway score, uh, musical score by Australian musician and comedian Tin Minchin and a darkly comical yet compassionate book by Dennis Kelly. Correct. Yes, and um, Rob Howell's Scrabble Tile explosion of set, playfully and colorfully lit uh, by Hugh Vanstone. Yes, it's um, the visual, visually amazing colorful and dazzling so the director is Matthew Warches um, transforms the stage into a playground and the talented group of kid actors it's really cute and adorable irresistible songs like mm, the sweet when I grew up and the Revolting children. Yeah, it's a wonderful, delightful performance by everyone. 
on stage and off stage. It's of course great for children. It's perfect. Mm, colorful costumes, on stage magic, and over the top comic performances. Mm, make this musical a great Broadway outing for young theater goers. Yeah. They will not have a better time on Broadway this season than Matilda. Yeah. Yes, um, this another star. Yeah, I know. When I was a kid, I'd love to go to Broadway and would want to watch something like this. So, the next show is um, something for you and your friends or your couple. Yes, it's called Chicago. Not really for children. It's a musical tale of murder, greed, corruption, all those things. Yeah. It will paint a town red with a um, merry, murderous Roxy Hart, while Mug Hilly, their ho um, hotshot lawyer, Billy Flynn, and the iconic choreography of Bob Jose. Ah, uh, Fose. Sorry. So, really, the um, Chicago is like devilish and delightful. Yeah, it's um, similar to the movie An Indisputable Broadway Landmark. Mm -hmm. Very minimal scenery and simple costumes. Just basic black to deliver one big scene what one big musical bang after another and um, one great showstopper after the next mm, yeah it's the original musical score and also the original choreography mm when the Chicago's first appeared in 1975. It's really not for kids. Yeah. Mm, correct. So, we can skip this. Alright. So, let me see what's next on our... Hmm, on our list. Oh, okay. So, Spider-Man is um, one of the... Um, nice nice shows um, I think this is great for kids especially boys <laughs> yeah. um, over 40 years of Marvel comic books for inspiration Spider-Man turn off the dark it spins a new take on mythic tales young men propelled from uh, from a modest row house in Queens to the skyscraping spire of um, the crystal building. It's the same story. The teenager Peter Parker is um, turned upside down literally when he's bitten by a generally, I'm sorry, genetically altered spider and wakes up next morning clinging to his bedroom ceiling and he he's suddenly endowed with astonishing powers and soon learns however that with great power comes a great responsibility as some villains test not only his physical strength but also his strength of character um, okay, the Spider-Man is like one of the most technically elaborate Broadway musicals of all time. And the Spider-Man brings the Manhattan skyline to life on stage. It's a lot of work. <laughs> and um, it features incredible stunts. 
written as Spider-Man flies over the audience to fight his foes. Yeah, musical features a, a rock score penned by the fame, um, famous U2 musicians Bono and The Edge. Um, similar to the other projects from the show's original director, Julie Tamer. Um, there are inventive costumes, puppets, masks, projections, and more stunning visual techniques used throughout the show. It's wonderful. It's of course wonderful for our kids with the superhero loving kids will really go crazy for Spider-Man when he soars around the audience but the younger children may be slightly frightened by the evildoers um, when, they, when they aim to bring down this, the superhero much of the fight choreography looks like stylized dancing so it's not overly violent though some of the video projection are a bit intense and loud for younger kids so it's a really a big star for um, boys, right? I think it's great. <laughs> yes, I do have nephews and they love Spider-Man. Okay, the last on the list is Rock of Ages. It's a rock musical set in Hollywood 1980s when it was all about big chords, big dreams, and big hair. Rock of Ages it explores the pursuit of dreams and tells um, its story through hits from iconic groups and rockers of 1980s. It's a um, very great show it's mainly for um, it's wonderful performance and very great set but um, really for people who are missing the 80s <laughs> yes yeah, it would be great um, nostalgic video mm. performance I'm sorry yes all about hair spray big hair it's um, it's actually a karaoke-friendly classical or classic songs, and drinks will be served at the seat sides during the show. It encourages great time for every everyone. <laughs> um, it may not be good for kids though. So that's it for all the shows. Uh, let's see what <clears throat> uh, we have just wrapped up. The Lion King, Wicked, um, The Phantom of the Opera, Mamma Mia, Matilda, Chicago, Spider Man, and The Rock of Ages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, you can group it into two, um, the ones with the, you're viewing with um, little kids and um, the one with just you and your couple, um, just you and your, um, <laughs> yeah, your, your spouse, yeah, yeah, um, I would suggest, um, Matilda, if you have a little girl, and um, Spider Man, if you have a little boy. I mean, Spider Man is both for girls and boys, mm, yeah, because the stunts are so cool and amazing. Uh, Mamma Mia's wonderful choice choice for the family event, because we all love and adore Appa. And you can sing along and dance as well. 
Yeah, isn't that amazing? Okay, let's confirm on that. Get a pen, just a second. Okay, so I'm just going to confirm this. Um, okay. Mamma mia. Um, so you're going to be watching it this week, huh? Yeah, sure. We have um, Saturday, Sunday, or weekdays at 8 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays are 2.30 p.m. or 8 p.m. We have wonderful seats. Mm -hmm. mm, Friday, 8 p.m. That's a wonderful choice. Let me just check it. Mm -hmm. Just a second. Four tickets. Thursday. Okay, you're in luck. We have um, the front, um, right in front of the stage. Hmm. Yes, just right in front, in the third row from the front. Yeah, it's uh, the best seat. It's not too, like, forward so that you'll see only part, you know, you'll have to look up. So, the third row is a bit higher and you see the full performance right in front of you. Wonderful. Okay. So, I'm just going to confirm four seats. Um, okay, so I will need your details, just a second. <clears throat> so, 8 p.m., alright. Um, can I have your name, please? Yeah. Okay, thank you for that information. Um, can I have your... And phone number, please. Oh, it's just because we want to um, inform all of our customers um, exactly one hour before the show, just so they won't forget or miss the show. Mm -hmm. So you can walk around um, in town near. Our us in, we have lots of wonderful things to see with um, amazing parks as well. Yeah, and so yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, can I have your email address, please, so I can send the ticket to you through email? Yeah. Okay. At mm, Yahoo.com. Mm, okay. Okay, so um, can I have your address, please? Just in case I can send you the brochures of our next show, and you can select mm, a great performance and at, at um, a good early bird discount as well. Thank you. Let me write down in just a second. Uh huh. Okay. And the postcode. All right. Okay. So I have all that I need. I am going to send you the. Um, receipt for the first show. Maybe I should send it together, right? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. So um, the first show for the family event is selected. Okay, that would be the Mama Mia, Friday, eight p.m. 
Um, that's four ticket. Mm, sorry. Okay, so there's um the next group is um correct me if I'm wrong, but it's it for you and your spouse. Something a little bit romantic, um a little bit grown up. Mm, yeah. I think it would be very romantic if you'd watch the wonderful Phantom of the Opera. It's super romantic. Mm. You and your spouse will have a wonderful night out. Yes, I'm sure about that. Okay, so let me just um, check the seats for the Phantom of the Opera. I'm sure we have a great seat for you because um, we are early in the, in the day, the week. How about um, Saturday night? You get a maybe baby uh, babysitters for your kids, and you and your spouse can watch that. Yes, um, Saturday night at eight p.m. You can do Sunday night. Saturday night is fine, okay. So let me check those. Um, okay, we have um, the fourth row from the center stage. I think this is a great choice, or you can watch it from the box, from the side of the stage, you know personal box. Yeah. The box, mm, I know, it's great. And you can have um, champagne, a bottle of champagne. You can have a personalized flowers arrangement there to make the evening more wonderful. You can make it into a candlelit dinner. And opera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's a wonderful idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to um, book this box for you just before everybody else grabs all the box. It's very fast selling. Okay, so I have locked it. It's the best view of the opera house. Yeah, so. You can customize a wonderful dinner and champagne. Mm, okay, we can select the best champagne of the house. And our chef is um, from Five Star Hotel. He was um, you know, trained and um, has his own um, restaurant here. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I think he was um, trained in uh, a five-star hotel in France, Paris. Yeah, I know, it's the, the food is so wonderful. Okay, so I will send you the menu, you can select it from there, um, and we can continue from there. Yeah, and anything you can call me. Oh, sorry. The flower arrangements we have lily, we have uh, roses, um, all sorts of roses pink, red, white. Oh, yeah, red rose is my favorite, and I believe uh, there's a, a red rose scene in The Phantom of the Opera. I think it will be wonderful. Okay, so I've selected the champagne and roses and the food. You can select it when you come into the opera, maybe. That would be best. Alright, so, so we are 
all done I will send you the um, confirmation through your email address that I have here and just make sure you print out these tickets or just take a screenshot and show us in your phone we also accept that and I wish you a wonderful week and amazing um, show I mean um, I hope you enjoy the show as well yes okay have a good good night all right see you soon goodbye